and James Sabalski down at ice level is Ray Ferraro, and we are amped up to bring you what should be a dandy matchup here this evening. Two teams that can skate, a lot of pace that we should expect for this one. Any other thoughts on your mind? Well, I don't think much is going to spread through the game, so it'll be interesting to watch who makes an in-game adjustment, who flips their lines around, who finds a matchup that they can exploit. That might be the difference tonight. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. Puck is dropped. Let's do this hockey. He got all of that hit. Loves this game. Possession along the boards. Dished on over to Dabrinkit. Loves is looking to break out of their own end. And it's a quick pass to AJ. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Tries to get it to Lee. Puck sent over to AJ. Forces the turnover. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Receives the pass. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Here's a short pass to Hawkins. Takes the feed. Scores! When I was playing at home, I loved if we could get on the board first. It really makes you feel like you can throw four or five into the net. He's probably got about two seconds from the time that puck's delivered to find it. He can't see it, so he drops into the butterfly and hopes it hits him. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. one nothing is where we sit at this point. And they'll dump it in. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Chicago's looking to break out. Passes the puck over to Jackson. Couldn't make that one happen. Nice pass back. Florida's on the attack. Puck battle along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Dubuis. Hawkins has it in the defensive end. Quick feed to Gabo. And he comes up with it. That's not even a rebound anymore. It's like a clear bar out. Florida's got the puck along the boards. Kim's got it across the line. Let's the wrister fly. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Battle along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Jackson's taking it from his own end. Right in the slot. Here he is in front. And that's blocked. Lee's got the puck along the wing. Maintains possession. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Dabrinkit. Gets it to the other point. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Kim's won the faceoff. Picks it up in the offensive end. Great defensive effort with the stick. One-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. And where'd that one go? Why, it doesn't get on the net. He misses the net as he tries to make the perfect play. Takes the pass. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Hawkins. Takes the puck at the point. From the boards, he takes that pass. Here's a short pass to Dabrinkit. And that one's broken up. And he sends it across to AJ. And loses possession after a solid hit. Dabrinkit's got it against the boards. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Kim's got it in the defensive end. From the point, they take control of it. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Dabrinkit. Florida's got the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Bad save. He's on it tonight. Passes it to Gabo. And they fail to go tape to tape. Right out in front. And they can't convert to the play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dubuis. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. And he makes the save. Puck scooped up by Lee. AJ's got it along the wing. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Puck grabbed by Hawkins. Dabrinkit's going to play it against the half wall. Inside the fight. And he scores! What a shot! Oh, 
Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Passes it over to Gabo. And they send it right back to him. Slides the puck to Kim. And that closes the book on the first 20 minutes of this one. 2-0 after 20 minutes of play as both teams make their way to the room. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Deacon destroys. Game plan was to get out quickly. Did they ever? They've had a pile of shots and a two-goal lead. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And now he tries to get it across to AJ. Couldn't complete the play. Jackson's got it in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Gabo. Lofts has regained possession of the puck. From the neutral zone now. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Florida's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Lofts has won the draw. Big time stop there. I like this. They got... Puts it in for the power play. Oh, I made a living on the power play, and you can tell early in a power play if it's going to be any good or not. If you're scrambling all over, it's not going to go that two minutes. This one worked perfectly. Lofts is back to set a rice, and now it is just a deficit of one. What a difference just the one goal makes in the way that you look at the game, what makes you think is possible. They only need one more to even this up. Florida's gained possession along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Unable to reach that one. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Florida's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Taken by Lee. He carries the puck up along the wing. Couldn't complete the play. Slides the puck ahead to Gabo. Quick feed to Hawkins. Denies him in front. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Nice pass. That knocks him off the puck. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And he rings the post! Chicago's lead will stay the same. That's a really good chance that just by an inch or so hits the post and stays out. Can't catch up to the pass. And he regains control of the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Quick pass to Hawkins. And the extended stick ends that one. Lofts has got the puck in their own end. Florida's got it along the wall. Takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. Knocks the puck down with a stick. And now it's grabbed by Debrinkit. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. Great defensive play as she blocks the shot. And now he angles it across to Debrinkit. Slides it across to Gabo. And that's just out of reach. Gabo's got it now deep inside his own end. Tosses it to Hawkins. Denies him with the save. He scores! Oh, off immediately. The official didn't take any time making sure everybody in the building knows this isn't going to count. 
Well, nobody likes having a goal called back, but they'll just have to play on as the puck's about to drop. Florida's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. And that's broken up with a stick in front. On the doorstep, spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. She found out pretty quick she couldn't get away with that call. No, she's fishing around for the puck there, and her stick gets into the player's feet, and down they go. The penalty's called. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. You gotta have a short memory on a power play. You haven't scored yet tonight, but that can't matter on this one. Get the puck back to the point, start moving it around and get people converging at the net. Tries to feed it over to Hawkins. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Dabrinkit's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier. Florida's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Unloads one, and it comes up with the save. Chicago's on the attack, and a poke check knocks the puck away. Florida's got it in their own zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. Nothing doing on that. There's the whistle icing the call. Here in the late goings of the period, Chicago's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Important draw to win so you're not chasing around in your zone. Both teams back to even strength. Impressive job by the penalty killers on that play. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. With the blast! <laughs> like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. Puck picked up by Lee. He takes a moment to backtrack, but maintains possession. Now a quick pass to AJ. They go on the attack through center. Can't hang on after that hit. Florida's got a hold of it against the wall. Just slide to the net. Quick shot, too much traffic in the lane. Here they come. Moves the puck over to AJ. Here's a short pass to Kim. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Kim's won the draw. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. There's the whistle from the linesman calling an offside. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's all tied up. Kim's won it. Dupuis got the puck now in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Kim. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Sends it over to Hawkins. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Angles it over to Gabo. That pass doesn't go. Gabo's got the puck now here inside his own defensive zone. Jackson's hauled down, penalty on the way. Here comes the call. 
And it looks like the officials are going to nab her for tripping here. Pretty easy call. Once she swipes out the opponent's feet, that arm's going to go in the air right away. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. Gets it out of his own end. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Not able to connect. Lofts has got the puck in the defensive end. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And the puck leaves the zone. Quick feed to Gabo. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Florida's got the puck shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Moves it around along the half wall. Sends a pass over. And no one's blocked! Feeds the puck to AJ. Smart defensive play there. Both teams back to even strength as the power play expires, and we are still tied here. I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because you showed them great. You had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. Misses just up and over. Makes his presence known on the ice. Takes a shot. Big save by the goaltender once again. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Tees it up from the point. Puts it high. Ooh, going for the top bin. He just misses it up top. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. debrink it has been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Centering pass! Here comes the call from the official. AJ's been nabbed for tripping. She can't believe that the call was made, but I don't see how it's anything but a penalty. Deacon destroys power play unit, puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Best part about being on the power play, no matter how good or bad it is, you get another chance, out you go, and you've got a chance to make it better. Rister, hit the he Wait a minute here. I think this is not going to count, James. At least that's my opinion. This goes off the player's glove. You cannot bat it into the net. You can bounce off the glove, but you can't rock it. Both teams back to center ice, and after that lengthy review, I like the call. Here we go. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Moves it to Hawkins. And that one's broken up. And the puck clears the zone. Chicago's got it behind the net. Sends it quickly to Gabo. Pokes the puck away. Florida's gained possession along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. And that pass goes awry. Chicago's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. Well, they're not going to think too much about that. You, will, you want to at least generate a little momentum on your power play. Not only did they not score, they gave up a shorty, which is always deflating. Quick feed to AJ. Oh, what a stop! Feeds it over to Gabo. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Keeps hold of the puck. Hawkins plays it now. Up along the wing. Deacon destroys across the blue line. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Turns it away. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Out front, and they can't connect. Dishes it to Kim. With possession along the wall. Puts it to the front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Florida's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Hawkins wins the faceoff. And now it's over to Gabo. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Sends it ahead to Gabo. Takes the feed. Moves right to the middle. Quick pass to AJ. Moves the puck along the half wall. Flips it up the net, gobbles the puck up there with the chest. 
And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. In the final moments of this period, Florida's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Chicago's won the draw. Jackson's lugging the puck. Nice zone entry on the left side. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Hanson the call there. Here's a short pass to AJ. No one home on that play. Chicago sliding the puck behind the net. 40 seconds left in the period. Denies him! And he came out and challenged him. Good save. And rings the iron! And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gabo. Puck scooped up by Lee. Sends the pass over. Jostling for the puck and it's knocked away. Great hit on the play. Here's an offensive chance. Moves it quickly over to Hawkins. Moved into the middle. Chicago's going to play it from the corner. And he coughs it up with the pass. Can't connect. And we are all over with this one tonight. They said they wanted to be aggressive short-handed. They were able to get a short-handed goal that becomes part of the difference. It's a fine line between winning and losing on a nightly basis in this league. And special teams a difference here again.